Good morning to you all. This is Friday the 5th of April. Weather well, slowly improving. The sun's trying to show itself. It's warmed up a bit but not too much. Anyhow, firstly let me thank you all who uh, put answers to uh, my queries on the last two videos, uh, the Roco, which um, I will probably try and get it to be used. It seems stupid buying something and then not using it. So um, yeah, we'll have a go at that. Obviously being very, very careful of whichever bank account I use, it seems there's no way of getting around not having to show this, but... Um, at least if it's only used during the setting up and as I'm certainly not likely to go onto any of the charge channels. There's enough rubbish on the TV as it is so um, should be able to find something. So that was the rocker. Thanks again for your comments on that. All valid comments I may add. Very valid. And also um, thanks again for one particular gentleman who gave me quite a very good answer on always feeling cold. Um, I do feel in my case it is due to the the warfarin, uh, but he explained a lot of things. Um, okay, modern heating systems and all that taken in. Now that it is getting a bit warmer, I feel a bit better. I don't feel 100% but feel a bit better. Anyhow, today I thought we'd have a little look at a radio receiver I picked up ah, many years ago from, yeah, you've guessed it, another boot cell. Don't know which one, possibly Wimbledon, but as I say, in those days I did go to quite a few, all of which are good. I don't know now whether the boot cells are any good, I haven't been to any for ages. Um, I found difficulty uh, getting about, possibly due to my age, I don't know. And anyhow, I've got so much stuff that I don't get any more. I mean, place will burst with all the bits and pieces I've got. Anyhow, today, we talk about this nice little receiver. It's a very nice one, actually. It's made by Tanberg who is a Norwegian firm. They also make a lovely mains voltage dropper. And as you can see, it is made in Norway. Nothing from China. That was probably before China got in to make a lot of these things. It shows the Norwegian type of plug, which is like a variation of the uh, German Schuko. Not exactly the same, but they, the pins, are, I think, are interchangeable, so they can be used. You've also got the double insulated sign there, two squares. They put it down as type 5. And... Obviously the blurb on there, which I won't read out. So yeah, a nice unit made up of a proper transformer. This is certainly before the, um, what they call them now, they're, um, I can't think of the name. Um, but all the modern stuff uh, is totally different. They increase the frequency then transform it and then bring it back down again. But this one will be a genuine transformer. Switch mode, I think is what they call it. Yeah, switch mode. And switch modes used in quite a few modern things now. But this uses the old fashioned type. Now getting back to the receiver. These were very good. 
show you what is on there. All the buttons are there. It's in working order. It works. I can show you that. Let me turn it on. To remember that many people don't blame Israel. Many people blame Jews. And that way beyond the countries of, of Israel or or the West Bank or even... No, the I'll keep it on too long. Everywhere. But at least it, it does work. So I'm going to turn that off work. again. Um, yeah, so it works on all the bands. We've got FM, long wave, medium wave, short wave. And I think you've even got a light which would light up inside. As you press that button there, it lights the dial up. And I think it has to be connected onto the mains or onto the transformer. The unusual type of plug which goes into the back of the set. Oh yeah, turn him around. That's on underneath, I think. Where are we? I'll find it in a minute. Oh, there we are. You've got all your connectors there. Um, that one's for, for the tape recorder. I'll come on to tape recorders. Ear, um, earphone. External aerial socket. And... Um, Another aerial socket, obviously for the FM, I think. There are two types. Long time ago since I last looked at that, so please excuse my ignorance when it comes to a lot of things. Now, Tanberg, a lot of you may have not heard of the name, but they were mainly remembered or much good makers of tape recorders and I also had a Tamburg tape recorder I don't know what happened to it don't seem to have it now that was actually bought brand new from a shop in Streatham very good shop who specialised in uh, Tamburg equipment um, and it, it wasn't their their best model but it was quite a good model and um, the rewind speeds and that were quite fast so it was a good machine and fairly costly at the time I would say the one I really would love to have had a bit large and a bit heavy is the old ferrograph no I never had a ferrograph I never found one of those at the boot sale They were, as far as I was concerned, um, perhaps one of the uh, the better tape recorders. I did have a Brennell, that was another tape recorder, which I don't know what happened to that. And a Brennell, a Motec, and a um, Elizabethan, which was... Um, Quite good. It was it was a cheaper name, but they were nevertheless quite good. And I think they had three motors as well. I'm going back into memory. Now, I remember Ferrograph, and I bet a lot of you also remember Ferrograph. In school days, and I'm going back to when I was at school. In the late fifties, sixties. Previous to that, to hear BBC broadcasts around the classroom, uh, just an old radio was used, a uh, commercial type radio. But then a company came out, which I think were based at Wallington there. They're no longer there, I think. I think the, the company's gone. But they brought out some very nice equipment they brought out enormous speakers uh, using uh, Goodman 
units in the speaker, and they were big. And they would obviously be used if you're in the hall. You'd have a large, the large speaker. If in the classroom, you'd have a smaller speaker. Anyhow, these units, including a phonograph tape recorder, which I'd have dearly have liked, was also mounted in a wooden, I don't know whether they were oak, but they were a beautifully manufactured wooden box with a handle. They were, they were intended to be moved about, obviously from classroom to classroom, to lecture hall to lecture hall, whatever you like. But they did use the ferrograph. I think another variation of ferrograph was a company called Vortexian, which I believe was based in Wimbledon, not far from Servio Radio. Yeah, I'm digging into old things. Servio have been gone many, many years. Great pity. I used to love going down there. You had Servio, you had the Harvesons. Yeah, I could give a whole talk on the on that um, but I won't in this case um, so that was my experiences of the old equipment used in schools they were good equipment they were all on plugs safety being made so they were used and safe but I do remember the uh, the ferrograph they were lovely machines one or two members of the cactus society also had a ferrograph i remember a gentleman in reading unfortunately he's no longer with us um, he had a ferrograph and treated it with respect it, you know they were very good machines but anyway, that's more or less all I've got to say about this. I'm just putting this video up to more or less let you know that I'm still alive and kicking. Don't particularly feel very much alive at the moment. But um, anyhow, we will see. Anyhow, thanks again for watching. I don't think I've forgotten anything. You might guess I do like talking. So recapping, this is the Tanberg Portable 41 made in Norway not a scrap of it was made in China well made in a nice I know that's teak it's in a nice wooden case and as I say it's brought back memories of the old school days and the old equipment I think it was the company was Smith and Company. I think it was called. They've gone now. They were in Wallington, and I don't know if you ever see any of their gear at boot sales. I've never seen any stuff. It's so it's it's obviously very good quality stuff. I suppose it had to be in in a school use, probably knocked about and that. I say previous to that, they just used an old radio I'm trying to think the name of the radio I can't remember it but it was it was an oldie so yeah that's more or less my little talk today so once again thanks for listening any comments please make and once again thanks for all the comments that have been made in the past I'm I have difficulty in typing well, I don't have difficulty in typing I just don't like typing and using one finger it does take a long time and when I see some of the stuff that people have written, I thought, oh God, it'll take me a day and night to match all that. But I am very, very grateful. So once again, thanks for watching. Thank you.